What are the three scariest emergencies a GI doctor treats? What makes me jump out of bed in the middle of the night? Obviously, there are many life-threatening diseases in medicine, but there are a couple in the GI world where time is of the essence. Number one is a food impaction. This is when food gets stuck in someone's esophagus or food pipe while eating, and it won't go down for anything. The only option is for a GI doctor to come in emergently and perform an EGD to look into the esophagus and manually remove the food. Why is it an emergency? Because if there's enough food stuck in there exerting enough pressure for long enough, the esophagus can rupture, and this can be fatal. Number two is acute liver failure. Now, this is rare, but true acute liver failure is a huge emergency and requires immediate liver transplant workup because often a transplant is the only cure and even that will only work if it's done fast. If the liver has truly failed then it will not be clearing any ammonia out of the blood and it won't be making any clotting proteins. This causes coma and increased pressure in the brain or even bleeding in the brain which can be fatal within hours. Anyone with acute liver failure who's an appropriate transplant candidate immediately goes to the top of the transplant list. And finally the scariest GI emergency is a variceal bleed. In patients with cirrhosis the increased pressure in the liver produces new blood vessels in the esophagus called varices to offload that pressure. These vessels are very weak though so if the pressure increases enough from enough blood volume, they'll burst. And this is a variceal bleed. If you get called for this, your heart rate jumps through the roof because not only do you have to get to the hospital fast, stopping the bleed is very difficult because when you look into their esophagus, there's blood everywhere. These patients can lose huge amounts of blood very quickly and this can drop their blood pressure and ultimately kill them. GI is a great specialty, but in certain cases, it can be pretty scary. Which medical specialty or medical emergency do you think is the scariest?